Today on our utility trailer, we're gonna be installing the Bargman seven-way molded trailer end with a six foot long cable, part number 54006-009. Now this right here is what our new seven-way plug looks like. It has six foot of cable. Now on this particular trailer here, it only has stop, turn, and running lights. There's no brakes on it or backup or 12 volt power. So we won't be using all of the features on our seven way. Now to feed our wire in through the tongue of the trailer here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the wires here at this old seven way plug. We'll then need to go ahead and go underneath our trailer and pull the old wires out through the tongue. This here was just an old piece of hose to help protect the wires. Now to install our new seven pull harness here, into the trailer tongue. I'm using an old section of airline tubing. I'll feed that in. I'll then take the wires here and I'll tape them off to it so we can pull it down into position. Next we'll go ahead and take our pull wire. We'll feed these in. Pull the new harness into the trailer tongue. Now the tag on the wiring harness itself lists the functions for each color wire. Now on this particular trailer since there's no brakes or power wire needed or reverse backup, these three wires right here will not be used. We'll not be using the black wire, the red, or the blue. So these three wires will just be taped off for now. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take an additional piece of white wire here as we're gonna extend our ground for this particular trailer. The tongue's long enough that we wanna have enough of the seven pole wiring out the front of the trailer to make it to our vehicle at the proper length. We're gonna be using a heat shrink style butt connector. Go ahead and crimp that down. Now on this particular trailer, there's actually two different running light wires that are bonded with the green wire and the yellow wire. So here's the right hand side, brake and turn and running lights. And here's the driver's side, brake, and turn and running light. The yellow is the brake and turn, the brown is the running. For the passenger side, the green is the brake and turn, and the brown is the running. So we're gonna need to put the two brown wires together onto the brown wire here on our pigtail. This time we're gonna be using a blue heat shrink connector. Go ahead and connect the two brown wires with the brown wire off the pigtail using the heat shrink connector. We'll then need to take the green wire. We'll go up to the green wire on our seven way plug. This is the passenger side brake and turn on the seven way plug as well. We'll then go ahead and take our yellow wire, which is the driver's side brake and turn We'll go up to our yellow wire on our seven-way plug. Next, we'll go ahead and use a heat gun to seal up all of our butt connectors. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, a regular lighter will work, but be very careful as you can easily burn the insulation on the wires. Now for our ground wire to connect it to the vehicle's frame, we're gonna be using the DECA ring terminal in the heat shrink design in the yellow color. Now that our other butt connectors have had a chance to cool down a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and tape our wires, just to give them a little more protection. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our ground wire with the ring terminal. We're going to add it here to the ground stud. Go ahead and tighten the nut back down. Now that we have all of our connections made, we're going to go ahead and pull the blue wire back up so that it pulls the excess wire into the tongue of the trailer and also gives us a little more lead sticking out the front here. We're then going to go ahead and use a couple zip ties to help secure our blue wire here at the tongue. And with that, that'll conclude our installation of the Bargman 7-way molded trailer end connector with a 6-foot long cable, part number 54006-009.